What's up, everyone? This is Ben Five with you again. Um, seems like the questions have stopped on my Q&A video, and I'm actually shocked how good of a response I got. In fact, I'm I'm, I'm so shocked that I'm probably gonna have to turn this into like a two-parter. Hopefully, that will be it. I don't want to do a three-parter. I don't have that many fucking questions, but some of them are really good questions, and I can go into detail. So I am. So I'm gonna start from the first and go all the way to the top. One of the questions is asked twice, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and answer it. Okay, first one, the other side 100, TOS 100 asks, how did you come up with your YouTube screen name? Well, in high school, um, me and a friend of mine, we were really into like the satanic bible just because, you know, it's weird and we were weird guys and shit, you know, we wore black and both had long hair and there were like the infernal names, all the satanic names in there. And I thought, well, David is a Hebrew name. So I saw the name Abaddon and that's a Hebrew name. And my friend, he picked Bills above, and then I had the idea, why don't we pick last names? Asmodeus became like my last name my last, for my stage name, and um, you know that was a Hebrew name as well. And you know, just I use Abaddon for you know different websites as a screen name. Um, Eli Morea, I hope I am saying that right. Um, I've been so for quite some time, but I guess the last question, uh, yeah. As nothing comes to mind at, at a time, uh, this guitar in the background is just to make you look cool, or will you play something for us someday? I'm actually working on a video of me uh, playing some things from my old band, which I might actually rejoin. I know they want me to, so I might do that. And yeah, I'm working on the video of some of the riffs we used to play. Swiss Topper. So, how did you become an atheist? I really didn't become one. I've pretty much always been one. My dad said when I was like four or five, I asked him if there was a God, and this was before I questioned Santa Claus. And, you know, throughout my life, <clears throat> since the other kids believed in God, I really wanted to believe. I really did. I wanted to, you know, I don't know, I, I wanted to be normal. But then eventually I just realized, I'm not normal. I don't believe what these people believe, so fuck it. I'm an atheist, and that's just who I am. Pink Program asks, uh, what are your thoughts on high prosthetic organisms? From what I've read about it, um, it actually kind of freaks me out. Because, and it's pretty much one part in particular, and it's that they might be able to have these organisms um, gain almost like robotic stem cells where they can like heal themselves. Well, to me that's scary because that could be something like, what about roaches? Roaches gain immunities to things. And to me, that sounds like it could be like the Borg. And that scares me because all it would take is one asshole to create one fucking hybrid organism that can rebuild itself and gain immunity to our weapons and kill us. Like I said, one asshole could do that if they had this kind of technology, if it did in fact work. So, that kind of shit scares me. I don't think they should be fucking with that kind of shit. Uh, Dark the Atheist asks, Kirk or Picard? Don't worry, I'm undecided myself, but don't you dare say Janeway, Cisco, or Archer. What's wrong with Janeway, Cisco, or Archer? Especially Archer, I really liked him. Uh, but I gotta say Picard. Uh, Kirk was awesome, but he was busy trying to fuck every alien he possibly could, while uh, Picard was more about, this is his duty. He is in charge of, like, the finest crew in the fleet. He is very serious about what he does, and you're not going to convince him to fuck around and break a bunch of rules he's going to do his duty first and foremost so he's my favorite <clears throat> Michael McAllister asks if some profound scientific sorry my mouth's a little dry discovery were uh, to be made in the next decade what would you want that to be i.e. Uh, the cure for AIDS slash schizophrenia, time travel, etc I gotta say faster than light travel since I am such a geek about you know Star Wars, Star Trek um, I really always wanted to like go to other planets and see what they're like and explore. I've always thought it would just be really awesome, but to do that, we're gonna have to travel faster than the speed of light. And I know there are theories on how we could accomplish this, but so far, nothing has worked. So, that would be my, that would be my pick right there. My Kingdom 666 asks, what is your ideal way a country should be ran? 
how would it differ from countries today? Honestly, I think countries like Canada, Great Britain, they have good policies. Because um, economically, I'm pretty much a socialist. I think businesses get out of control. And they, they're able to buy off politicians and shit, and I don't think that's right. But socially, I'm, I guess, a libertarian. You can do whatever the fuck you want as long as you're not hurting someone else. You know, if you're into S&M and your partner is too, it doesn't mean shit to me. If you're into anal, it doesn't mean shit to me. If you're gay, I don't fucking care. If that's who you are, if that's what you want to do, and you're not raping or killing or hurting someone else, hey, go fucking nuts. You know, have fun. Uh, Labkind77 asks, what's the foreign country you most appreciated, and if you don't travel abroad, what U.S. state? Unfortunately, I have never been outside the country. Um, but state... Um, I'll say city, because I, I haven't really been all over a state except for here in Ohio. But I went to Pittsburgh. I've been there twice, and I love that city. I really want to move to Florida, but if I had to stay someplace cold, I'd either try to go to Canada and become a citizen, or I'd go to Pittsburgh, because Pittsburgh is just a great city. Their economy is still good, apparently, because they're steel industry. And I just loved it. There was so much to do. There's so much cool shit there, and I liked it. Um, Coyote 170, I mean 171 asks, In some previous videos, you had some Nazi regalia in the background. Where did you get them? Are you a collector of military items? Yeah, I have like East German stuff, uh, some Nazi German stuff, and some American military stuff. And the reason I had the Nazi stuff is because I have just always loved German uniforms. Pre-World War I, World War I, World War II, um, Cold War, etc. I think they did a great job with their uniforms. Nazi Germany was more about symbolism with these medals. Like if you look up... Uh, the anti-partisan badge, it's very cool. It has like snakes and shit and a sword, and they just had very cool looking military items. Um, even like the skulls that the SS had, a lot of people thought it meant like death, but it doesn't. That actually predates Nazi Germany um, by quite a few years, and that was for like guards for, you know, royalty and people like this, and it was supposed to be like they're willing to lay their life on the line to protect it. It's life or death. That's what the skull meant. And uh, most of the stuff they used, like the Eagles, even like the Zeke Hauslitz, that was Roman-influenced. But I just like the uniforms, and, <clears throat> you know, I just really like the way they made them look. They wanted their soldiers to look professional. And, um, like, even, like, when they first start going to war, the original wartime uniforms, and even the Panzer crews, were, like, you know, you had, you had your tunic, a dress shirt, and a tie, believe it or not. But they wanted their soldiers to look very professional, and I just think their the uniforms were great. Uh, I don't have anything original. It's reproduction stuff, except for the East German stuff and the American military stuff. That stuff's easy to come by. East German stuff is dirt cheap. Um, but most of the time you can get the stuff off eBay, uh, at thefront.com <coughs> is a really good website, tridentmilitary.com, which I don't even know if they're still in business, but uh, that's another good site to get reproduction stuff. And yeah, I just really like just the look of it. I don't go out and wear the shit, but you know, it just, it looks cool. Uh, Stone Commander asks, um, favorite movie of all time and why? I have so many movies that I love. Clockwork Orange, I love. I love the original Rollerball. Um, <clears throat> but I got us in Dark Knight. I love that movie too. <coughs> but I have to say, my favorite movie of all time is Equilibrium. Uh, it's about, if, if you haven't seen it, rent it. It's fucking amazing. If you could buy it, even better. I bought it for like $10, and it's easier to come by now than it used to be. But it's about there was apparently like a World War III, and it wiped out pretty much all of humanity except for a very small group. Well, the powers that be decide that the reason why humans kill each other, hate each other, spend more money on trying to kill each other than try to make peace is their ability to feel the highs and lows of emotion. So they create this drug. Um... And what it does is it gets rid of the highs and lows of your emotion. It has Christian Bale, he's the main character. He's the highest ranking member of the Grammaton clerics, which are the people that go around killing people who stop taking the pill. Well, I mean, the dose, not pill, it's an injection. But And they also destroy things that, are, that can make people feel, such as paintings, music, even little things, like just little trinkets and pieces of cloth. Everything's supposed to be bland. And the movie is fucking fantastic. And the fight scenes are amazing. They're fucking awesome. I love that movie. 